Hi, thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Uh, today, probably doing a much an anticipated video. Uh, basically, the full review of the Fluval C4 out of the box right here. Um, so I, I, you know, I got it when it pretty much came out. So I've had this for over a year or so, uh, and I'm finally ready to do a full review on it. I think it's about time, and uh, I think I got enough uh, time with it in there. So, oh, and you know what? Uh, before I even go into the review, I get like a hundred comments about this. Okay, I know there's a fish right here. I know. Trust me. No, no, I know. Trust me. I know it's in my house. I know. I see it. C you know, cichlids are aggressive. I know what they do. I know. No, 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 no. Trust me. I know. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. And uh, I, kn I know I have cats in my house. Trust me. You guys are great observers. I know. No, no. I know. I know. I know. Trust me. No, no. Anyways. So... Here we go. Fluval U4 review. Um, first off, I think on my, you know, this was one, one of the first, very first videos I did. I don't actually think I did a little unboxing, but obviously I can't really do an unboxing right now, but I will just kind of show you what's going on here with the box. You just got the uh, box here. Your carver and, and your other stuff comes kind of separate. And, oops, here's one of the bags that the stuff came in. And you get, a, like, a little uh, warranty, or, what the hell is this? Oh, it's just, like, a quick start thing, warning. And then you've actually got your manual. I, I gotta say, I'm not actually too impressed with the manual. Uh, I mean, it does kind of, does kind of, you know, it tells you what you need to do for the basics, but... It combines the U2, U3, and U4 all in one. And, uh, I mean, although they technically are the same, it's still kind of uh, annoying. And they really didn't put it into, like, pages. They just put on this huge piece of paper like they kind of do with the Aqua Clears. And they also put the U1 on the same thing. The U1's actually different than the U2, U3, and U4. And they put it all on the same thing here, which is kind of annoying to try to look up stuff. And they also even put the, the other languages on here, so it's actually, you know, somewhat of a pain in the ass to go through it. So, not too impressed with the manual there. Which is unusual, because, you know, I usually like hay and stuff, almost everything they do, so. But anyways, that's pretty much the box there. And this is what it, the uh, carbon and stuff came in, I think. At least this is, I know that was a replacement, so. Anyways, uh... And another thing to show you, I actually got the bracket off for you guys. I've only taken this thing off one time since I've owned it. So, uh, right there, that should show you guys that, that I appreciate my viewers taking this damn thing off. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, in fact, I'll put it in, in there right now just to make this easy. As you can probably tell, it's actually dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet. Because of the cycle of my, uh... Uh, of my filter cleanings, I'm not actually due to clean this for a little while, so, but, you know, I really thought it was a good time to get the review out, so, anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and start off by saying this filter has been very reliable, uh, I haven't had a single problem with it at all, I mean, I've let this, I, I literally, you know, I test things, you, you know, I'll push things to the limit, you know, when I do reviews, it's part of what testing is. And I, I let this thing get gunked up. I mean, I let this thing to where there was crud hanging out of the side. The thing was just covered in shit. I mean, I, I really let it get covered. And the thing kept blowing. It didn't jam. didn't make any noise. Uh, although it did make a mess in the tank when it came to actually cleaning it. But that's, you know, it's not a surprise. There's nowhere for the crud to go. It's an internal filter. So that's, that's part of... The uh, negatives to having an internal filter, and as you guys know, I'm not the you know I really don't do internal filters. But with this one, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Might as well test it out. So I'm not the biggest internal filter guy, but uh, you know this happens to be one of the ones I have. So 
you know, over in Europe, the, I mean, they use these things like we use hang-on backs, you know, and they're all over the place, so. Uh, anyways, uh, the, the filter has definitely been a, a, a little neat thing to have, and, and I definitely like it. It's, it's actually very, you know, it, it, it'll apply to you in the utilitarian sense, too. Uh, you know, you can actually, if, if you just need something to circulate water, like a power head or oxygenate your water, it can do that too, as, lo as well as being a filter. Because it's actually got this, uh, if you plant it close to the surface, it's got the uh, venturi valve up here, where you can actually, uh, you know, let the uh, air come in. And it works pretty good, but like I said, it's actually got to be pretty close to the surface, if not on the, you know, it's got to be on the surface for it to work. But... On the other hand, these, at least for the U4, the jets here, the the top and the bottom jets here, actually work very well, and so do these directional things that are on it. They actually work very, very, very well. I'm quite surprised. And of course, for people like me, I use the uh, spray bar, which is actually really nice. You can direct the spray bar in a direction, and uh, you can actually kind of uh, regulate the flow just kind of by uh, putting it in between the holes in here and stuff. Oh, I should have just kept zoomed in. There's like little holes as you go between each. Uh, I don't know if you can see the black thing behind there moving. As you go in between each of the uh, kind of the directions, you can actually kind of control the flow of it. But that's mostly what I use is the spray bar, and it's it works very well. And the other cool thing about it, even though it's only a three-stage filter, uh, you know, it's only got your regular, uh, you know, foam, carbon, slash fine. Well, I guess you could call it four if you want to count that, but I kind of just count it as three. But either way, it's actually technically got, you know, kind of like, uh, I would say about like, you know, kind of almost like a five stage because there's two sides to it so you don't have to replace you, you know you, you're not replacing an entire stage of filtration at once like let me show you what I mean here so so let's let's say it's time to change the carbon or it's about time to change it or something uh, basically you, you know if this is like the only filter in your tank and you actually have to worry about biomass a lot. What you can do is you'll change the carbon on this side, you know, and then you can wait a week and then change the carbon on this side, which is, you know, pretty nice. So you're really not putting, you're putting even less strain on your bio, you know, on your biofiltration than uh, even the AquaClears or even the Fluball C5. So it's, uh, or I'm sorry, C4 or, you know, the C series rather. So that's actually a pretty nice uh, little thing they did there. Because I think in their previous models, I didn't really have the, the Fluball Elites or whatever they call them. I never had those, but uh, I, I think that's kind of neat. I, I, I've never really seen that in, uh, in uh, a filter or uh, internal filters. And of course, you got your biological compartment in the center. And... Uh, Although these are oddly shaped compartments here, because you know you've got you got this part, which is your, as you can tell, it's actually really dirty. Uh, like I said, uh, you've got these legs, these blue sleeves here. There's two of these, and each sleeve holds your foam, your regular sponge, and then your carbon impregnated pads that also have the fine foam on the or the fine floss on the front. And you can actually probably, you know, you could, you know, take this out and just cut something to, to the right thing and use it to, to the right size. But as you can see, this is what I was talking about. See, like on the front here, you've got the uh, fine floss, and then on the back, you've got the carbon. So I don't know if you want to count that as two separate stages, uh, but I, I really don't. But, you know, you could technically... Because there's, there's not actually, I don't think there's actually like physical carbon, oops, it, I think it's just like a carbon impregnated pad, so. Alright.
And like I said, there's two of these in there. And then of course, you know, whatever fits in here, you could put in here for biological filtration, but I don't know why you would want to change, you don't want to change it. Bio, Biomax works just fine. This is kind of like the Biomax that's in the AquaClears. You can tell it's a little bit different though. It almost looks like it's laminated. I'm not sure what is different about it, but it definitely looks different, so. But of course, you know, if you had enough biofiltration in your tank, you could put, you know, something else in here that you might want. All right. Remember, you're not limited to what to what it says. You know, uh, a, a filter without media is just a power head. You know, media is the heart of a filter, so that's what's going on with that. And also, I thought I'd show you the uh, talk about the bracket real quickly now that I actually have it out. This bracket is actually quite amazing compared to any other kind of internal UV sterilizer powerhead bracket I've ever used. It's it's never failed or fallen off once. Uh, and for how strong it is, it's fairly easy to take out of your tank for how you know reliable and strong it is. Uh, like I said, I've never had any kind of problem with this. Like usually uh, with other filters and power heads and stuff, you might have to press the suction cups on there, move it a little bit, or even have it fall off. This, not even once, the entire time I've had it. Not even once. And, and like I said, the, it, one of the cool things about it is you can actually change your filter media with it still in there. Like if you're just doing a carbon change and not cleaning the filter, you know, it leans forward like this. And you can just open this up and change it as they kind of advertise on it. And, and also on here, j just so you know, in case those of you that, that might be interested in this, this doesn't actually move or rotate. I'll kind of zoom in here. What actually happens is uh, on the bracket here, uh, there's actually like a, a big hole in there, and it kind of uh, makes it so this the filter can only be in two places. And there's little special clips here on the side. You probably can't see it because it's all black. And it's kind of a stormy day out, so you can't really see too well. But um, basically what happens is you just put this in. And it can only be in one of two positions. Either lean forward or when you lean it back and it snaps together. And also, it also helps stay together by this clip right here on the top which also gives it room for the cord that comes straight up, which is another nice feature because really the only part uh, oops, the only part of this that needs power is obviously the motor. So the motor's on the bottom on this, so it's nice that it actually comes right out the top and they, have, they actually took the time to put the little cord holders on it and make it come out the top like that. Because I've because I've seen other ones where it actually comes out the bottom and it's actually not too uh, good there. So, or but you know usually on most uh, internal filter designs the power heads on the top anyways. But it's it's just something nice because they put it on the bottom. It's nice that they actually added that in there. And uh, I don't know if I did mention anything about this. This is actually what you use to control the. Uh, the, the flow and the, uh, the, the, the output, the three outputs here, which actually makes it really easy that it's nice and uh, on the top there. Like I said, that, that's about it. Uh, what else can I say about this filter? It's extremely reliable, extremely quiet. I mean, I never heard this thing once. Like, it, to, to make sure, if you're ever worried about that it's, if it's working or not, you actually have to put your hand in the tank. I mean, it doesn't even make like vibrations on the glass or anything. I mean, it's that that's crazy, and it puts out a lot of flow too, and it does a very good job of filtering. So, uh, for, for for kind of a standard filter, kind of a you know just your you know just a good filter, a plus for this uh, internal wise. I've never seen an internal filter so good. But like I said, I'm not the most experienced internal wise, but this is definitely a. Uh, really good way to go f for internals. That's about it for the uh, Flu Ball U4 review. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in.